So I'll start off this video by saying that I'm not very good at making these. And I am sorry for the poor video quality. I'm using my phone. Just thought some people would like to see what we're doing and some of the equipment we use. I, uh, like I said, I'm not real good at this. I'm kind of new at it. And uh, just thought I'd try and share what I can. doesn't do these hills any justice. You can't hardly tell. But they're pretty good steep hills. Mom and Dad and William are in the combine. I'm hauling corn with the 145 white. Grandpa's using the 220 horse versatile Bueller.
100,000 pounds on the back of the 145. Plus five wheel weights on each side. Full rack of weights on the front. So I wanted to show everybody how we take the corn out of this back farm so that everybody can understand why we have so much weight on the 145 to try and get it out. It's, uh, it's quite a haul. It's quite steep and not real smooth. And uh, This tractor does not weigh an overly large amount to begin with. That's why we got her weighted down pretty good. You'll see the, uh, the hills. Sorry for the bouncing. We're running 500 bushel wagons. They're not clear full by any means. They're probably about 400, 450 bushel. So that's about all we can pull out with this tractor anyway. We got a 2180 white with duels and weights on the back of that one. Um, a thousand pounds on each side of that one for wheel weights. And that one pulls it quite well, but it weighs quite a bit more than this tractor. This phone doesn't show this hill quite as much, but as well as what you could, but it's uh, steeper than a 7% grade. I'm in fourth gear overdrive and it won't hold the tractor back tractor won't hold the wagon back I mean um, yeah all of these hills are a lot more than 7% grain um, this hill here is the biggest one we have a challenge with it's not too bad once you get it back down on the tractor Bumper into 
a direct drive as we come over the hill and just creep over the hill. The long haul that there's a up there's the building site that's home. It's one mile away. It's almost all downhill. Wagon, this easy trail wagon I got behind me has the best brakes out of any of them and it uh it does pretty well not pushing the tractors too bad that 2180 has a 3208 cat in it and it does the best at pulling wagons and keeping them it's got enough torque it'll hold wagons back real well even if they don't have good brakes so it's a nice tractor to pull with but not near as nice inside and the air conditioner doesn't work in that one. So the 145 is the luxury tractor for me. Everything we have will run about 19, 19 and a half mile an hour. So it doesn't make too bad of a haul. Everything on the right here is our ground. There's six acres there, 120 acres here, and then there's 30 acres here up to where that pine tree is. That next cornfield over is not ours. Corn we're taking out now is 110 day, running about 23 to 25% moisture, a little wetter than we'd like, but need to get it out so the cows got somewhere to go and something to eat. They're eating about a bale of hay a day. Dad's got 60 out of stock cows on that farm back there. It's a 200 acre farm with about 150 acres, so about 100 acres crop ground and 100 acres of pasture. He's got 60 cows back there. Pasture, a lot of it's timber. So he's got 60 head of cow calf there back there. He just weaned the calves and moved them home here. Oh, uh, last week, yesterday or the day before, I think he moved them back home. Yeah, the cows up there are eating more than a bale of hay a day. Got the calves up there. You can see the 2110 up there in the shed. That's that's loader tractor. And the old 1655 on the auger. Coming out pretty slow out of the chute. A little, a little, a little wetter than we like to put in the bin. The bin holds about 12,000 bushels to dry. And this, this is 30 footer. It holds about 15,000. The drying bin is 36 foot. It holds about 12 to dry. It holds 15 if you fill it. Not to dry. And then the tall one in the back is 27 footer. It'll hold 15,000. 
thousand as well. And there's two five thousand bucks of bean bins there. Usually around the sixteen fifty five on the auger. Nice and easy to reach the TPO and the throttle. That's our trip. Drive here, unload, drive back, get another one.